Hey, what's up, guys? Really not a uh, not a daunting build at all. Um, really just kind of goes to show you the the power of what I what I talk about in relation to looking up Pinterest and trying to find ideas on there. Um, you'll see at the end of this, we're gonna get this ready. We're gonna put it on the workshop. You'll be able to use it in your zoos. But really, this is like you know, let's just not overcomplicate it. It is literally just a little, almost like little diorama um, piece of like concept model that I found on Pinterest. And I was like, you know, we could recreate this. This is not that big of a deal. Like it's like almost like a little peninsula, um, kind of like a little water cave with a, you can see in the concept art, um, it has like a little elevated path to it. Um, no biggie at all. Like really, really, um, it, not even really that much foliage detail and in real time you guys are seeing this sped up to like 12 or 13 minutes but that's at like 350 percent because in real time I really only took about 47 minutes to finish this whole thing and now we can get I mean who knows how many people are going to end up downloading this and be able to use it for years and years in their zoos if you're looking for a nice little elevated um you know like a, like a little elevated path to look down onto the enclosure um really versatile for any kind of animal that maybe would come up to the edge or maybe would be say foraging in the little shallow water that you'll see here in a few minutes um or just playing in the water um really 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 fun neat concept that we like i said we tackled in under an hour and that's what i mentioned on twitter just yesterday i said i probably get asked a handful of times probably four or five times a month so four or five times every 30 days somebody says man where do you get your inspiration for planet zoo i'm telling you guys pinterest 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 that like not just for just planet zoo but for my planet coaster ideas and just always to keep the ideas flowing i've always loved that site now it can be a little bit of a mess it can be like a like a almost like an unnecessary wormhole like where you if you click on one picture but you keep following that path and don't forget to go back to your like original concept you can you can almost like really easily lose good concepts that maybe you had your eye on for a second, but maybe this tunnel caught your vision and you're like, oh, well, let me go check that out real quick and pin this. And it's, it's weird. You can, you can lose some good designs on there too, but I just have a blast just scrolling through, um, you know, on my phone or on the PC um, and just trying to come up with some ideas. And that's exactly what sprung from this and you know at first i didn't I, the, the only thing that kind of threw me off at first was how dark the color was um on this rock and that's kind of what the what i was basing it off of off the actual concept art um it, I, it was, I was a little uncomfortable going this dark because i just didn't know how it was going to read with the foliage i didn't know if it was just you know too volcanic uh, but I, I think it really, really worked out well. And if you think about it, there's not really, like if you have to go through this one day and individually click on these and change the color to what you want, I don't really think it's going to be that big of a deal on you. I mean, we're not talking about, you know, thousands of rock pieces. I think we might be talking about 184 like maybe not even that. I'll have to double check it and I'll, like I said, I'll link the description to the workshop link down below so you guys can use this in your zoo um i was telling bold the the biggest thing right now that i'm wondering about is really where am i going to put this i really want to use it in lost creek but i passed that file over to leaf for right now so leaf is actually in disney world but when he gets back home in a few days um, he said he's going to start on it. So probably a little bit after Christmas, I'd say possibly even by Sunday, Leaf will probably be full on into starting Lost Creek and, and what he's going to do for me. So I don't want to just rush and throw this into something because I think we could do something cool with Lost Creek. Maybe do tigers. I don't, Lost Creek doesn't have a good tiger exhibit yet. Um, we could just do, I could do a, 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 a panther. You know, I've got, I've got a couple of those black, I've got a couple black jaguars 
that are in the Trade Center right now that are just begging for an enclosure. So we could even try that too, but there's, there's a lot of different things we could use for this. Um, and I think I want to save it for Lost Creek. But like I said too, we'll just kind of hold off. Let's see what Leaf's gonna try. And then we'll uh, we'll jump in and see if we can if we can find a spot for this. But as always, guys, come and comment to me if you end up using it in your zoo, or find me on Instagram or Twitter if you have that, and tag me in it, and uh, just show me where you put it in your zoo. I absolutely love getting those notifications when you guys have used uh, one of my blueprints and uh, and and show me where you've used it or what you've done. That is so freaking cool when you guys do that but anyways like i said i'm gonna go ahead and jump off off here you guys go ahead and watch the rest of this build i'll throw in some easy relaxing music for you and um as always let me know what you think down below and give me a like if you did if you end up enjoying this video and just subscribe to keep up with some more planet zoo mischief and uh yep yeah, thanks guys i'll catch you in the next one bye
Let's call.